I'm going to be showing you guys how to do two versions of a French braid pigtail look. Um, I have the French braid right here, and I've done this look using extensions. And then I'm going to be showing you guys uh, two different ways to wear the pigtails. So the first look that I'm going to be showing you guys is something more casual, but still really cute. Um, I think it's very wearable for every day. And the second look that I'm going to be showing you guys, which is the one that I'm wearing, is going to be a bit more girly and done up. And I feel like while you can still wear this every day, this is something that's definitely suitable for a more special occasion, like a date or something like that. So I hope you guys noticed that the sound quality of this video is awesome and that's because I have finally purchased a new microphone so um, hopefully it's doing its thing, hopefully it's working well this is my first day using it so yeah, I hope um, the sound will be a bit more pleasant to listen to um, for this video and my upcoming videos so with all that stuff out of the way, let's jump right into it. All right, so today we're going to be using extensions from VP Fashion. A lot of you guys have recommended this brand to me, saying that a lot of bloggers here on YouTube have uh, tried out these extensions and done reviews. It was super convenient that at the same time you guys told me that um, the company contacted me asking if I wanted to try out their extensions. So we are going to be using these today for this hairstyle. I've had extensions in the past and I did do reviews for those. Long story short, I ended up not really liking those extensions. You guys can see my past videos on these extensions here and here. I've done two videos in total. Um, I did a basic one about how I put extensions in my hair and I had a review to go along with that. That was more of like a first impression. And then I had another tutorial about how I did uh, long twin tails with extensions and that also came with an updated review. So I have those two videos if you haven't seen them already. So in my quest for good extensions, we have a new set today. First of all, I've been having a bit of a bad hair day. It's a bit uh, frizzy and messy, but that's okay because for this look, it's easiest if you have a bit of texture in your hair. So this is super convenient for bad hair days. First of all, as always, before we start with any hairstyle, I am using my rat tail comb and I'm going to uh, section off my middle part directly down the middle. And next, as always, you want to brush your hair before we start. We're going to start by sectioning our hair directly down in the middle. All right, so we're going to start by working with our first half of hair. So right above my ear, I'm going to section this piece of hair away. And it's not completely right above my ear. It's maybe like, I don't know, about uh, a little under an inch. I'm going to take this section of hair and I'm going to section this away. For this look, it works the easiest if you use as many one clip or two clip wefts as you have. With the more clips that you have, the longer the weft is and it wraps around your head more. So it's actually harder to hide the wefts. Starting right above our ear, we're going to stack up vertically to about right here. Alright, so I'm just going to be clipping these in. Alright, so that first section is in there. I'm going to take down my hair and I'm going to part a little bit above where we clipped in that weft. And I'm going to clip the hair away again. So you want to use the longer wefts first and then as you move up, towards the top of your head, you're going to be using your single clip wefts. So I have a single clip weft here and I'm just going to pop this right there. And letting my hair down again, I'm going to section it a little bit higher once more above the clip that we just put in. And then I have my last single clip weft and I'm just going to pop this right there. All right, so that's one half of the hair done. All right, so now we're going to start braiding. So we clipped in a vertical line right here above our ear and that's because that's where we want our French braid to lay because the braid will be laying right here that's actually going to help us cover the clips so as always I'm just going to be starting at the top of my head I'm going to take a one inch piece and then I'm going to section this off into three pieces All right, so we have three pieces here I'm going to braid once with the pieces on the outermost sides I'm going to take a little section of hair and then I'm going to add it to the piece that I was originally holding and then I'm going to cross it back under as a braid. Now on the other side, I'm going to repeat that process. I'm going to take a little section of hair, add it to the piece that I'm holding and then cross it once again as a regular braid. So now that we've 
reached the end of our nape with the French braid, I'm just going to continue with the regular braid until I run out of hair. Alright, so now I'm just going to be securing this with a clear elastic. It's really tight and everything is covered well, but in case you have a little bit of the clip peeking out on the sides, you can easily just tug the hair a little bit to cover the clip. All right, so that's one of our French braids. Um, I'm going to repeat the process on the other side. done. Next, I'm going to be taking my straightening iron and I'm just going to curl in these pieces. Alright, so I feel like this is just a really cute finishing touch. Uh, lastly, I'm going to be adding some bows to cover the elastics. This is totally an optional step to add accessories, but you guys couldn't tell already, lately I've just been really obsessed with wearing bows in my hair. Alright, so that's it for this hairstyle. Um, I feel like it's super cute and girly, but it's also very comfortable and very casual to wear. You can also take a little bit of hairspray or gel to smooth out uh, the braids and blend your hair into the extensions, but unfortunately, I don't have either of those things. so. I'm just gonna leave it the way it is, and honestly, I don't really care. <laughs> Alright, so that is the first look that I have created using extensions and a French braid. I'm going to be showing you guys a second version. Alright, so I've untangled the bottom of our braid, and right at the base of our French braid, right where it ends at the nape of our neck, I'm going to tie this off with a clear elastic. You can wear this look as it is. You can uh, straighten up the extensions a little bit and wear it straight with the uh, French braid crown, but I'm going to be taking my straining iron and I'm just going to be loosely curling the extensions. I'm going to be taking one inch sections of hair and I'm just going to be loosely curling this. I'm just gonna be curling this away from my face and this is going to help blend my hair into the extensions. Loosely curling the extensions and the hair really blends it together so you don't see any awkward layers. And that was super quick. That took me literally like, I don't know, two minutes. Alright, so that's it for this look. Um, you can wear this style just as it is, but of course I have to add some sort of accessory. So today I have these puff balls. I'm going to be pinning this puff right here at the base of the French braid so that I can hide the elastic. All right, so that's it for this look. This is the second version using the extensions and the French braid. This one is definitely more girly than the first one, um, especially with the loose curls and the puff. All right, so that's it for this tutorial for these two super easy styles. If you guys are interested, stay tuned for a mini review on these extensions. All right, so these extensions are from VP Fashion. These are the white blonde extensions in 14 inches and 170 grams. Because my face shape is a bit small, I realized that long extensions aren't really my thing, so I think 14 inches is perfect for me. So I'm really happy with the length of these extensions. I ordered the 170 grams because I wanted a fuller, thicker look. So these are the extensions sent to me by the company VP Fashion. Obviously, these are just like two wefts because I have the rest in my hair, but um, I am really happy with these extensions. These are super thick and super heavy. Ever since my last extension mishap that I shared with you guys, now that I have a bit of experience with extensions, now I have a really good idea of what I want and what I expect. Obviously, I have to custom dye my extensions to match my hair color. Um, these took the dye really well. I don't know what was going on, but with my old pair of extensions, when I used to heat, so if I straightened the extensions, the color would like bleed out. Um, but with these extensions, that doesn't happen. So I am 
really liking these extensions. They're a bit coarse. I feel like they could be softer um, compared to my own hair. It's a bit rougher, but I'd still say that it's pretty soft. It's not too bad. There is a bit of fallout when working with these extensions, but it's nothing too bad. It's very minimal. And of course, my favorite thing about these extensions is that they can be straightened. Look at, look at how nice these are. They look so pretty and I can wear them straight or I can wear them curled. And I feel like that's such a small thing to ask for from um, human hair extensions. You should be uh, able to treat them with heat and you should be able to wear them in whatever style you want. But my last extensions, they didn't do that. So I'm really happy. Um, these extensions really came through for me. So overall, I wish that they were a little bit softer so that they could match the texture of my hair. But at the same time, it's nothing too bad. So overall, I feel like these are really nice extensions. These are definitely something you'd want to check out if you have to custom dye extensions to match your own hair color. So yeah, overall, these are good extensions and I am very happy that my extension struggles are over. Um, you see that I've been holding up this weird sort of like hanger contraption. And what this actually is, is a hanger to hold up your extensions. And this is a lifesaver verb. So you have the hanger right here. You pop the top downwards and it releases the hold on these two wooden blocks and it just flips upwards and you take out your extensions. That is super fucking awesome. It also came with this little bag which you're supposed to use with the hanger. And there's a little hole up here where you can pop the top of the hanger outwards and it's like this. It's like it's like a little clothing hanger for your hair and then you just zip up the bag and you can hang this in your closet. That is real fucking amazing, you guys. I feel like this is like so sanitary and it protects your hair from like dust and shit like that and it's just so convenient. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I had a lot of fun filming it. I am really happy with the styles that I was able to create. I hope you guys found some inspiration and some new ideas from watching. As always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys again next time.